In this video, we'll take you through the steps required to connect your Android smartphone or tablet to the Canon EOS 750D. We'll start by downloading the Canon Camera Connect app from Google Play before configuring the Wi-Fi connection. Finally, we'll go through the basic features of the app and make sure that everything's working as it should. All up, it'll take about 5 to 10 minutes to get up and running. If you're following along with your own Android device, you may need to pause or replay the video every now and again. Let's get started. First up, we need to download and install the app. Head on over to Google Play and search for Canon Camera Connect. It's completely free. For it to work properly, the app requires access to your photos, as well as your GPS location and Wi-Fi connection. You'll also need to accept the license agreement before setting up and using the app. Now it's time to open up the app and configure the Wi-Fi connection. You can browse the welcome screens or just cut to the chase by tapping the skip button. Now this bit's really important so don't tap anything just yet. We're going to tap the close button here and show you the fastest way to connect. Make sure you're on this screen. Now switch on the camera and press the menu button. Next, go to the first tab of the function settings menu, which looks like a little spanner. Once you've enabled the Wi-Fi, you'll need to register a name that the camera will be known by. By default, the name is already set to the name of your EOS model. Leave it set to that name or change it to something else before selecting the menu OK button. Now go to the Wi-Fi function menu and select the Smartphone option. Make sure Easy Connection is selected. On the screen of your EOS camera is some really important information. The SSID is the name of the Wi-Fi network that the camera has created and Encryption Key is the password. Use that information to join the EOS Wi-Fi network with your smartphone. Go to the Settings app on your Apple device and open up the Wi-Fi menu. Once there, you should be able to see the EOS camera network listed. Tap on it and then enter the encryption key that's displayed on the camera's LCD screen in the Password field. Now go back and open up the Canon Camera Connect app again. The app will have found your camera. Tap on it. On the screen of the EOS camera, you'll see that it's asking if it's OK to connect. So go ahead and give it the All OK. After a short period of time, you'll see confirmation of a successful connection. Let's just check everything's working. First, we'll test the Remote Live View function. What you're seeing here is a real-time view of what the camera is seeing. Point the camera at a subject and then tap the shutter release button on the app. The camera captures a photo which is saved onto the memory card just like any other picture. So what if you wanted to download this picture to your Android device or indeed any other image on the camera? Well, it's just as easy. Go back to the main screen of the app by pressing the left hand arrow at the top of the screen and then tap images on camera. What you're seeing here are thumbnails of all the images that are stored on the memory card in your camera. You can browse these images and even download them to your smartphone. They're saved in the Photos app, meaning that you can share them just as you would with any other photo. There's one last thing we want to show you, and that's how to properly close the Wi-Fi connection. Press the Close Connection button on the app which appears as a small cross to the right of the camera icon. And the Wi-Fi disconnects. Next time you want to use the app, you can re-enable the Wi-Fi connection like so. Wait for a few seconds and you're good to go. Well, that's about it. 
We hope you found this video useful and that you're looking forward to using Canon Camera Connect with your EOS 750D.